after we saw a simple setup of coherence, in this video we will explore how to make the best of coherence cloud and how to upload a build that can be tested online. First, we need a coherence account. We can go to the website and sign up or within the coherence hub in Unity, we can use the blue sign up login button. Once we sign up, we can access the dashboard. From here, we can create new organizations. Once we have an organization, we can create projects. Let's make one for our demo. Let's now quickly jump to the rooms section and make sure to enable rooms for at least one region. You will notice already now that once back in Unity, we are logged in to Coherence with our account. We are now able to select the organization and the project we just created. By just doing this, we are linking this Unity project with the project on the Coherence Developer Dashboard. The only thing we need to do is to upload the schema to the cloud. The schema is the result of the baking process we saw in the previous video. Once that is done, you will notice in the cloud status says in sync. By uploading it to the cloud, we are telling the remote replication server what data needs to be networked and how. If we press play now, we can already connect to the remote replication server in the coherence cloud, which will show up in the dropdown of the sample UI. If you have teammates working on these same Unity projects and they're targeting the same coherence organization and project, and they're running it with the same schema, they will be able to play with you. Finally, we want to upload a playable build to the cloud. Let's switch the build target to WebGL build and build the scene. Just make sure to have baked before you do so. Once the build is ready, we can upload it directly from within Unity. Go to the Coherence Cloud tab in the Coherence Hub, scroll to the bottom and select WebGL as a platform. Browse and find the build and click Begin Upload. Once the build is uploaded, we can go back to the dashboard. From here, we can see that the build has been uploaded under Manage Builds. We then go to Share Build and enable the public page and fill in the info. Now, by simply clicking on the link provided, we can test the build in our browser and share the link with friends and colleagues to try it together online. It is also possible to upload Windows, Mac and Linux builds for other users to download. All builds will connect cross platforms to the same replication server if they were built with the same schema. This is it for this video. See you in the next one.